watching NBC4 HD. This is News Channel 4. And welcome back, everyone, to Weekend Today in New York. It's Sunday morning. And Greece is still the word. We'll meet the actors who want a chance to star on Broadway. And Sally Ann will be coming back to us live from Grand Central Terminal on this very busy travel day. Stay tuned, folks. As the guest. And a little later, we'll be joined by the two new lead cast members of the Broadway so hit, Greece. Still be friends. Then we made our <laughs> Take care. Thanks, bud. Have a good one. And when we come back, the new Sandy and Danny from Broadway's Greece. They'll talk about the long road each of them took to get there. Wanted, that's for sure. Max Crum was a struggling actor in Los Angeles, and Laura Osnes performed in a dinner review of Greece in Minnesota. But they beat out thousands of hopefuls on the hit NBC show "You're the One That I Want." And now the two 21-year-olds are starring as the leads, Danny and Sandy, in the Broadway revival of Greece. So great to see you guys! I have to say that we watched the show in my house. We voted, <laughs> we cheered nice. when you won. So really, a lot of people out there are very happy for you. How's it going on Broadway? You're really plucked from anonymity, and now you're Broadway stars. Exactly. It is so much fun to be on Broadway, just because, like, you know, going from, I mean, just doing theater and doing nothing for me is Let's just... Let's tell folks what you were yeah. doing. You were a camp counselor? Well, yeah, I was a camp counselor for a while, and then I just had a job at a gym where I was a guy that checked people in, you know? Amazing. And for me, it was just another audition, you know? I was going out on auditions in Los Angeles, and, um... You were doing commercials? It. Yeah, I was doing commercials and stuff, short films, just working here and there, but working, you know? And then, uh, but n nothing too good. And then I just <laughs> randomly, you know, one morning... I saw the I saw the the ad for this and mm -hmm. I just was like maybe I should go to that and maybe uh, you should. I Good got idea. a brilliant way. <laughs> Unbelievable! You know? I know yeah. that your hair has been an issue. It was an issue on the reality show. That's now right. is this your new hairdo? This is always, for right now. This is how I wake up. Now? It looks this good when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> you live with the pompadour. Yeah. <laughs> and Laura, tell us how it's changed your life to be a Broadway lead actress. It's amazing. Broadway has always been, you know, one of my dreams ever since I was a little girl. I've always wanted to be a star on Broadway, and it's just incredible to think that. I went through the whole reality TV thing and got there at age 21, and it's been phenomenal. I'm loving it. I wonder how you've been accepted by other actors. I know it was controversial in, in the theater world to pick stars of a Broadway show via a reality TV show. Mm -hmm. Have you been well accepted? Aren't they nice to you? Well, completely. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I was. I think we were all we were both like pleasantly surprised at how welcoming our cast was and the Broadway community. Everybody's been so supportive and been like, "Oh my gosh, we watched you on TV and we loved you guys," yeah. and it's it, been great. It really is too. It's uh, it's a very scary thing to come into. We were very both nervous, but our cast sure. was great about it. And the whole Broadway community is really just the nicest, smallest group of people you could ever meet. The most talented, just nice people. Really. No, I know reviews can sometimes be rough, but sure. the audiences do love you. Which matters more to you? All the audiences. The audience, definitely. What I think what matters most to, to us is that, like, the audience that's there that night, if we're pleasing them, if they're having fun and going nuts, and that's what counts, you know, it's, it's each show as it comes, you know. And there are many shows, eight shows right. a week. Tell us about that pace and how you keep up with it. It's definitely a lot. I mean, I think we both have to take good care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, go out and party that much yeah. and get lots of sleep and drink lots of water and tea. And right. You're suddenly you New Yorkers, but you can't exactly enjoy all exactly. of it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you have to be on your A game all the time because everyone's paying a full price ticket every night. And you have to be ready to give 110%. Now, you've signed on for a year, right? Yes. yes. And yeah. how, how's it going? It's going great. Yeah. I mean, I've only missed one show. She hasn't missed a show yet, so we That's haven't we haven't let too many people down, That's you know, or any. Has it changed the way people treat you in your normal lives? <laughs> Are you suddenly stars in your hometowns? It, yes, in our hometowns, Definitely. yes. Back home, it's very crazy because people are so gung ho, you know, because they could vote and they feel like oh, they right. have a part they of you, you. And it's yeah, yeah, yeah they, it's it's very cool, and, they, and it gives them a sense of ownership, you know, of the state, you know. Oh, they're from here, they're from here. <laughs> it's so. very true. And I'm, I'm wondering also, you know, Greece. We all know the words, you know. I could do Ramalama, ding dang. <laughs> Actually, I do know it, but no, I'm better yeah, yeah. than that. 
Uh, but I'm just wondering if because it's such a familiar show to so many people, if that makes it difficult because people have such expectations seeing it. Sure, sure. I guess I, there's part of that, but it's true like for any show. It's like people come expecting to see the movie. That's you know, right, so and like, it's not. Right, and it's not. The play was actually written before the movie, and it's different than the movie. But, um, you know, there's part of you that wants to pay homage to that and part of you that also wants to make it your own. That's mm -hmm. right, so. create totally. your own. Well, Max Crum and Laura Osnes, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, of thank course. Say hi to Danny and Sandy. We will. <laughs> we will. We will. All right, good Thanks luck. Very thank much. you. All the best. We'll be right back with a preview of Meet the Press with Tim Russert.